Hey, what is going on guys? Uh, I uploaded a picture on Instagram of uh, a JB Plus in my car and then I went live a couple hours later and I asked you guys, do you want me to make a video about this? Do you guys want me to make a comparison video? And a lot of you said yes, so I was surprised. I was like, all right, why not? Did I buy this? No, I did not. Huge shout out to Mike for letting me borrow this for like a couple days. Um, huge shout out to Mike for becoming an authorized dealer for burger tuning. Congratulations, bro. Um, if you guys want to buy burger tuning stuff from him, go ahead and hit him up on Instagram. I'll leave his Instagram on the bottom of the screen. You can go ahead and DM him. The benefit of buying from him, if you live in the tri-state area, you can buy from him and he'll give you a discount on an install if you don't want to or don't know how to install JB4 or JB Plus or whatever else he has. He also has things things for N55 motors and stuff. So yeah, he's become he became an authorized dealer, so congrats to him. He let me borrow this JB Plus and I've had it in my car for about, about two days, three days, and I do notice a difference. But the point of this video is not only that, or we all know there's gonna be a difference, but is it a significant difference? Is it worth the $200? Is it a huge difference? And we wanna see the difference. Can we see the difference on camera? So what I'm gonna do is hook up my camera on a suction cup um, and put it up on the glass. Hopefully I can get the same exact shot I can before and after with JB Plus and without JB Plus and we can compare it side to side. Um, what I will do is, is do launch control and auto, basically in sport. Sport Plus, obviously, to make launch control work, but not shift. I'm not gonna shift, I'm gonna let the car shift itself. Um, we'll probably go up to like 80. I don't have that much runway, and the street, for some reason, is kinda busy. You guys know I come out here sometimes for just random vlogs. So, yeah, we're gonna do that. The install is super easy. It's actually ridiculous how easy it is. You can literally just go right here, disconnect this little sensor right here, and one end of it goes right there, plugs into this, and then the other end right here, plugs into this plug. Um, Ooh, that's an M5. Basically, that's how easy it is to install. It's not hard at all. You can install JB Plus yourself. It's not difficult at all. I'll show you guys a little shot on how to install it like right now. Um, it's very easy, not difficult at all. But yeah, uh, I'm gonna hook up the camera. Let's get some first. Let's get some pulls. Since it's disconnected already, we're gonna get some pulls of how it is without the JB Plus. Hopefully I noticed the difference because I've been using it for two days. I just disconnected it for the purpose of this video. So yeah, let's do this. All right, here's a go without the JB Plus. the JB Plus uh, installed back in. Let's see, uh, 0 to 80, launch control. So I just finished uh, doing some of the pulls. Um, the JB Plus pulls were a little bit, I can feel a difference. Um, it wasn't like, oh my God, huge difference, but like probably JB4 would be. It's definitely high end. So what it does is, if you're wondering, I'll leave a chart at the bottom of the screen right now so you can see the difference. Uh, one of the lines, if you can read carefully, is the car without JB Plus. And then one of the lines is the car with JB Plus. Um, apparently it adds 35 to 20, 30 to 35-ish horsepower about around there. And it adds 3.5 uh, onto max boost. So I think stock, this car runs 16.5 or 15.5 something. Mike told me, um, it runs 16 or 15 um, PSI of boost, and then this adds 3.5 to it, so basically it adds 35 horsepower. You only feel it when you're hitting max boost. If you're driving around the city and you're not hitting any boost, you're not gonna feel a difference at all. This, I guess that's the cool part of it, like if you're driving like regular, you're not gonna feel it. It's only when you're like pretty much racing or flooring it. So um, when you're hitting max boost, that's when you'll feel that it's pulling a lot harder than it would if you were in max boost without JB Plus. So that's where I see the difference. Um, I'm gonna try and put those clips side by side, or I'll try to put one layer under the other so then we can see the basically we can see the gauge moving up and which one's moving up faster or not i'll try and see if i can edit that i'm imagining it i've never edited that before hopefully i can execute what i'm thinking if i can't i'm sorry i'll just show side to side by side and what you can do is after like two or three seconds you can just pause it and see where the speedo is at in my opinion from what i just did and what i felt i felt that i hit 80 sooner than i did when i ran without it um this place is getting really really packed for whatever reason there's lots of people driving in and out lots of soccer moms and stuff 
lots of Honda CRVs and stuff. I don't know what's going on. I think there's like a kids event at Aviator. That's where I'm at right now. If you're from New York, that's where I'm doing this. I, it's too busy right now. I don't want to do like 40 rolls and stuff. So maybe next time, maybe we can see. But honestly, the best part of seeing, the best way to see it is from launch from zero to 80, see if there's actual difference. But um, yeah, that's it guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry for the late upload. Um, hit up Mike if you guys want to buy the uh, JB Plus from him and get it installed from him. You can get a discounted price if you install from him. Um, but yeah, that's it. If you guys saw this coming from before, it's because you follow me on Instagram. Uh, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. I'll leave my Instagram on the bottom of the screen right now. But that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Before I end that video, uh, I got to see the timings and I see the difference. Biggest question of the whole video, is it worth $200? No, it is not. The difference is maybe a second, probably less. I don't remember the numbers, but I remember it being not that much. If the tune had been, or is it even a tune? The thing, if the device, the chip, whatever, if it was worth 50 bucks, 60 bucks, it was selling for 60, I'd say get it. It's a good temporary thing to have, you know, get a little bit more boost out of it. Is it worth 200 whole dollars? Yo, look, I'm not your financial advisor, but if you're gonna listen to me for advice on financial choices, you shouldn't. But if I'm saying something is not worth it, it ain't worth it. If you're looking to get burger tuning stuff, Go ahead, grab a JB4, skip this one, because for $200, it's not worth it. But Burger Tuning does offer something really cool. If you order the JB Plus through them, you like it, whatever, you hold on to it, whatever, you have it for as long as you want, you can actually go ahead and return it, send it back to them. When you send it back to them, they will refund you or bring it down to the cost of the JB4. So suppose you buy JB Plus, you pay 200 bucks for it, you buy it, you use it, all right, I'm, I've am i saved up enough money to get JB4, take the JB4, mail it back to them, they'll take 200 bucks off of your purchase off of a JB4, which is kind of cool. So I guess in the end, it is worth it. You can use it for temporary use and then use that $200 to bring down the price of JB4. If you're picking just straight which one I need to get, one of the two, get JB4, because this one, this one just simply isn't worth it. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. It took like, took like a day to make. It wasn't too bad, I'm getting better at this. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. Take care, peace out.